Hey guys, um, <clears throat> gonna check out this here uh, Yum Helger Mite. Uh, I seen this on Parabellum Fishing. Uh, one of his videos, uh, he did an unboxing from Lornet, um, the uh, Bank and Creek kit. Um, so in that unboxing, that was one of the things uh, that he got was the Yum Helger Mite. Uh, it was not for sale at that time. Uh, it, it was only available through the kit. <clears throat> I'm going to leave a link uh, to his video in this. Um, so as soon as they were available for sale, he, he uh, sent me a text to let me know, which appreciate that, Joe. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to have that paired up with the Parabellum Fishing Ned Jig Head here, custom made by Joe. And this is the 3 16 ounce uh, green pumpkin. Um, I'm going to pair these together and uh, we'll check this out here. I'm really excited about this Helger Mite. Um, I have used the Nico Helger Mite. Uh, which I like. This here, I like just a little bit more. <laughs> um, just the way it looks, all the appendages um, looks good in the water. Uh, the underbelly um, is lighter, uh, has a, a nice natural look to it. It has some flake in it, uh, and it's very durable. Let's uh, take a look, see what it looks like under the water, and then we'll put it to the test. See what we can get on it, guys. Hey, there we go. Look at that, a rock bass. That's my first rock bass, I think, in two years. And that is on Parabellum Fish and Joe, his Ned head with the yum algamite. All right. Nice. Such a long time since I caught a rock bass. Hey, second hook up on Parabellum Fish and Jig and the Yum Helga Bite. back to back on the Helger Mite, but I don't know if my camera got either of them because battery was dying. I hope at least it got that first one. That thing was a chunk.
Well, here's another one. On the Helger mite. Another one with a yum Helger mite parabellum jig. Helger mite flew off. Not bad. I think that's like six, seven fish before I lost it. Oh. <coughs> nice. Got a large mouth appearance. Alright. Beat up a little bit. Large mouth. 